Uh, my name is Esteban, we are All American Print Supply. You're watching The Creative Corner. We're joined by the world famous Alan Wade, A-Dub Productions. How are we doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you guys so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I know you got a busy schedule. You said you're flying out in the morning, so we definitely appreciate you making the time to sit down with us, chop up a little one-on-one. -on -one. We'll take it back a little bit to the beginning. Um, so let's say you just got out of one of these planes. You hopped in your Uber. You're having those awkward questions. Oh, what do you do? Why are you here? I'd say maybe like in about a minute. What would you say to someone maybe asking what you do for a living? I, my specialty is teaching people in an intricate way how they can supplement or replace their income with garment decorating. That's what I do. Right on. You know, I was going over your channel a little bit. You have such a varied, wide array of different content. In the bio, there was one part that stood out to me. You are saying that you quit your nine to five, you're making more money than you ever have in your whole life doing things you love. That really resonated, man. Can you expand on that just a little bit for us? Oh man, you, you, you opened up a can of worms right there. Okay, hey, so- let's go uh, fishing. We're, I think right now in life, we're at a transitional point where social media, a lot of people think social media has like been around for a while, but it's not. It's actually very, very new. And a lot of industries are changing and it's creating a lot of opportunities for people in all different industries, right? So us as garment apparel decorators and you guys as, you know, suppliers and you, you give us everything that we need so we can be prosperous, right? Um, I think like a lot of people um, are stuck with the mindset of, okay, I need to go to school, you know, get my degree, find a good job. We get stuck in the mindset of, this is the best it's gonna get. I've heard so many times when I when I used to work in my company, where else are you gonna go to make this kind of money? And look, we're just doing this or we're just doing that. Where else are you gonna go make this kind of money? And I'm, at the time I was like, yeah, you're right. But little do we know that like, when you focus on something and you kind of like hone in on a specific thing, there's so many different ways in that specific thing to generate revenue and sustain your living. And what we don't understand is it doesn't take that much to actually be able to live off that income. So we take that, we take that, you know, whatever your number was, if you made $100,000 a year at your job, we, we, we see that number and, and in our heads, we think that's an unattainable goal for us as individuals. But there's so many different ways that you can generate that money, but people don't understand. You can sell products. You can teach people how to sell products. You can teach people how to make products. You can teach people, you can team up with companies and teach people how to make products. There's so many different ways that you can do it. You can sell digital products. You can not sell products, just train people how to use equipment, you know? So there's so many different ways that you can make money and together it adds up to be like a whole lot of money. The biggest thing that you people need to realize is that like, if you enjoy doing it, the opportunity is, is are limitless, right? So, so like I go home and I'm still kind of working because I enjoy doing it. So it's not work to me. I, I eat, breathe, and sleep it, and and it's it's fun to me. I don't even look at it as a job. I know what it did for me in my life, so I enjoy showing people how to use the different equipments and um how how they can um you know replace or in or, or supplement their income. And supplement is the biggest thing of all because you can keep your nine to five, right? Yes. Most people get stuck at um living check to check. But if you can supplement that income, then you can actually live a better lifestyle because it only takes a little bit of extra money to like, you know, kick your feet up, be able to take a day off, you know, be able to go on an extra vacation for the year. What would you say you were doing before A-Dub Productions? Who was Alan Way before what this empire you've built so far? Before A-Dub Productions, I was an Amtrak train conductor. I worked for Amtrak for 20 years as a guy that walked around on a train collecting tickets and uh, you know making sure everybody got off at the right stop and stuff like that. So I ran trains between New York and Phil New York and uh, Washington and Philadelphia and Harrisburg. I was always making videos online because I just I just enjoyed showing people how to do things. Like if something didn't come with instructions or if I found an easier way to do stuff, I would just make a video to help people out. Like I have a video, how to remove vinyl sticky tile. To this day, I still get, oh my God, thank you so much. I was over here breaking my back with a, with a hammer and a chisel. Uh, yeah, I was always doing videos, but yeah, I was a train conductor, man. I was, you know, I, and I, I like the job. The job was enjoyable, but yeah. at the same time, nothing beats doing what you want to do, you know? What was the turning point or how did you transition into the apparel business? So I was um, 
making music. I was making music online and I wanted something else besides just the music revenue. So I said, yeah. you know, what, are, what, are, what what's another way that an artist can generate revenue, right? Yeah. Sell, sell you know, t-shirts, right? So it's like, how do you do that? How do I sell t-shirts? Okay, so I, I researched a little bit. So I got I got a heat press. I got a, my first heat press from eBay, right? I got a heat yeah. press and a hat press combo. Not Multifunction, dark. yeah. Multi, yeah, yeah. So I had that, for, and then I um, researched a little more. I got my some transfer paper yeah. with my with my regular inkjet printer. I made my first shirt, and I knew it worked. And I put the heat press and the hat press in my basement, and it lived in my garage, and it lived there for years. What really had like started this whole thing was when my mother asked me to um, get some shirts made for my uncle um, for his boat crew. Yes. And, and and instead of getting the shirts made, I suggested to her, well, mom, I, I saw this thing on, on, on YouTube called the Cameo. And so I'm like, mom, I, I, I could do that. Like you can just go half on Amazon and buy this machine instead of me paying somebody else to make the shirts. We can both buy this machine and I can use this machine to make the shirts and we still got the machine. So she was like, well, that's a great idea, you know? So we went half on a machine. It cost, cost about as much as it would have been to get somebody else to print up the shirts. Yeah. But but now I get to keep the machine, right? Exactly. So I made the shirts. I even have a video. But when I made the shirts, I noticed that equipment that I, that I got, like I said, my backstory, I always like to make videos to help people. So when I got this machine, the machine had no instructions, Oof. right? Yeah. So so I'm like, I saw I Played around with it, I figured it out. Watching some videos on YouTube and, and just experimenting and playing with different software. Cause I did music, so I was familiar with interfaces and stuff like that. So yes. I, I made a video showing people how to operate the Cameo 4. And then I, with that video, I got questions. I made more videos to answer that, to answer those. And that's where it started, man. You know, and I, I started selling t-shirts to friends and family members. And then I got, started getting creative. I worked at Amtrak, so I started making Amtrak shirts. You know what I mean? And selling them to coworkers. Yeah. When I was at work, I, I, I checked my, um, my my work wages versus my garment decorating wages. And I realized, oh man, this is kind of beating this. Like, I don't think I need to be here anymore, you know? So that, that was a Heck pivotal yeah. moment for me. That was like, uh, like a, whoa, this is really a thing type of moment. And like, the more I spent doing this, the more it grew and it seemed like this was never going to grow and I was capped out on this, right? Yes. So if I spent more time doing this, this would continue to grow and while this stayed still. I didn't enjoy doing this, I enjoyed doing this. So it just made more sense to like take a leave and figure it out. At, at Amtrak, I was making $100,000 a year, a little bit over $100,000 and I'm making significantly more than I made at Amtrak and, and you know, if you look around my work studio, I'm not going to show it to you guys now, but you know, I just bought another two head and stuff. I have well over a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment in here, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty. I'm doing pretty okay. But like I said, it, it 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 didn't it didn't come just like that. It took time. It took yeah. time. It took build up. It took years of reinvesting back into the equipment. You know what I mean? And yes. like I said, if you enjoy it, you're gonna reinvest in what you what you enjoy doing. And that's the that's the key thing. Re reinvesting and building your business. You know. And I was right. <laughs> Absolutely. No, that return. You know, I think it goes back to what you're saying about investment. You know, we all know it costs money to make money, but having that emotional investment, you know, and just being involved in it, giving it your all, and when it's something you enjoy, it just seems like the perfect story for you know having limitless potential to expand and um i'm glad you said like it costs money to make money because a lot of people like right now in my comments as i'm introducing different products to people and, and showing them how they work and how how it could benefit their business i get a lot of comments and videos sometimes saying oh this is expensive or that's expensive but um i think that people need to shift their mindset especially if they plan on making this a business because if you want to make this a business and if you want your business to be profitable, I think people are, are are falling in love with the money. To be frank, like there's nothing you can do with the money, right? You you, you once you make once you make a hundred bucks, you made the hundred bucks. What are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna keep the hundred bucks? Or are you gonna spend a hundred bucks so you can make two hundred bucks? I mean, it makes it, may, it makes sense to me to like if you want your business to grow, you gotta spend that money. You exactly. gotta spend the money to upgrade your business. And uh, uh, the most valuable thing I can tell you guys right now is um, how valuable um, 
your time is in business in general, no matter what industry industry you in, you're you're in. I don't think people understand how valuable their time is and how valuable saving time is. Like anything you can do in your business to make your business more time efficient is 100% worth it because once you can make your business more efficient, you can make more money, you can be more profitable. I've heard people say that before, but I didn't understand it until it started happening to me. This is like a puzzle. There's no like blueprint to how to be successful because there's so many different pieces of equipment. And there's so many different ways that you can go in garment decorating. You know, in the bio, you got the directed garment, like you mentioned, the heat transfer, the white toner. You know, I think that's really what makes your channel, one of the things that makes your channel so captivating and so adaptable and appealing to such a wide range of audience. And, you know, kind of to touch on that, can we get a little round of applause? Congratulations for Ada Productions. You got that plaque at that 100,000, let's go. Man, you know, um, right so, there on the side. I don't know if you guys see it. That's I can kind of. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I see it right there in yeah, the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah, wear that thing proud. Thank baby. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely something to hang your hat on, be proud of. You know, I know you got the studio now. We we'll take a look at another time. But when did you get started having your own production studio? You guys would know what it happened more than I would if you guys would check my All American Print Supply account. You can see when I bought my Mr. T2 Pro. Can you run the, and, run the orders? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. It happened a few months ago. The Mr. T2 Pro pre-treat machine, eco-free machine. I had the idea that I was gonna go to Home Depot and buy another platform for the shelf in my garage. Yes. And I was gonna make it a little wider and the Mr. T2 Pro was gonna sit right there perfectly. And when I got it from All American Print Supply, I, 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 I went home, I sat it in the garage and I'm like, there's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, okay, this is getting ridiculous. I need to like, <laughs> I need to get a place now. Okay. At the time, uh, my whole basement, I finished the unfinished part of my basement, I, and and within not even a month, that room was filled out and it was spilling out into the rest of the finished basement. And now with this, and I knew I wanted other stuff, so it was like this. No, I, I just got to get a place now. So. You know, it made sense, and I did it. And guess what? Now this place is uh is is, is full getting crammed. Of you said you got eight machines up in there, hundred thousand k plus of equipment, a whole army of printing options. That's great, man. All right, so you know, off camera, we're talking a little bit about your recent New York trip, that two head. Uh, what could you share with our audience, perhaps, as far as what step Alan Wade is taking to maximize his business currently? Yeah, currently, you know, I just bought another two head, and I plan on in buying even more heads uh, because that makes the most sense to me. And I was looking at DTG and um, still my thoughts, you know what I yes. mean? So we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. What's something A-Dub Productions, Alan Wade to maybe share to someone who was in that same situation? What would you tell them? I would tell them to go to my channel, subscribe to my channel and do everything that I did because I documented my whole entire journey on yes. when I, I, I couldn't afford it. And I said, one year I got to the point where I said, Guys, I don't know how we're gonna do this because my channel, we're a whole family. I said, guys, I don't know how we're doing it. We're gonna do this. But this year, I am going to get a multi needle embroidery machine, and it happened. So that's how powerful your mind is, guys. And I'm, I'm, I swear to God, if you tell yourself, this is what I'm gonna do, this is what you're gonna do, right? And, yes. and you set out, and every single day you set out to do that thing. And that's how powerful your mind is. And, and, and no matter how far away that goal is, if you take little small steps every day, you still get closer to that goal. Like, Absolutely. You know, people, it sounds, sounds corny, it sounds cheesy, but like, it's, it might seem far away, but if you focus and take little steps, you're gonna get there. You know what I mean? You're gonna get, it's, 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 it's inevitable. Don't think that anything is too big for you and you can't accomplish it. Go after whatever it is you wanna go after. And like, don't, you know, even if you don't know how to get there, just figure it out figure it out you know what I mean because if another human being can get there yes why can't you you know before we let you go I want to ask you really quick what are you looking forward to for next year what is the future of having store that has you excited right now I'm interested in all the new technologies that are coming out and all the different ways that different companies are making things more efficient and easier to use like um, DTF technology I know it's been around for a while but they're coming out with all these equipments to, to, to make the process simpler and to make the process uh, s smaller in a smaller form factor so people that are working out of their house. I'm excited about making content on all this different stuff because a lot of people don't understand 
the, sometimes they see a piece of equipment and they're like, okay, I see it, I see what it does, I see how to use it, how do I make money? I love showing people, okay, this is a business, this is a business also, these are businesses you just don't understand. I love connecting the dots for people, so I'm excited about that. Man, I think we hit just about everything. We started at the beginning and you know, we'll kind of help build to where we are now. From all of us here at All American, man, I really want to thank you. Before we do let you go, if you want to share maybe one more time where our audience can connect with you about your services, more about what you offer, and learn more from you, uh, this, this floor is yours. So you guys can subscribe to my channel, Ada Productions, on YouTube and all social medias. Ada Productions on Instagram, Ada Productions on TikTok, Ada Productions on, um, on, on YouTube. But um, if you guys want to further connect with me and maybe get a consultation about any of the other of the things that I do on my channel, you guys go to awproductions.com and schedule a consultation. Or if you guys want to just drop me an email, a business email, um, awproductions at gmail.com is my email address. So yeah, connect with me there. There we go. And this has been the Creative Corner with the Stephen Romero, All-American Print Supply, world-famous Alan Wade, A-Dub Productions. Thank you so much for blessing us with your knowledge, your time, your experiences. Thank you so much, brother. No problem, Mr. Stephen. Thank you so much for everybody at All-American Print Supply. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next show. Absolutely, you bet. Safe travels out there. God bless you. Be well. We'll see you soon, okay? All right, man. Take it easy. You too. You too.